When I was a programmer, I didn't know what a solid guide was. I didn't know what the benefits were. I just kind of went my own path. Didn't re really read anything about style guides. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly what a style guide is, why you should adopt it, and the the pitfalls and the um, the failures of not having a style guide. So let's kind of like um uh, uh, condense this a little bit, and instead of having a style guide for an entire programming language, let's have a style guide for an entire like corporation, for example, like uh. A tech company like um, uh, Dell or something. Maybe they're they're making some software or say like Instagram. Let's say Instagram. Instagram has a whole bunch of apps. Uh, and let's say their style guide. They don't have a style guide. So what will happen? Every developer is going to create something different. People. They may. Uh, uh, say they have an if statement without a curly brace over here. They do it this way, and some people might do it this way. You have camel casing, right? So you have, you know, what camel casing is, the lower, and then you do the upper, uppercase for the second and third word, and on and on and on. Maybe they, they start doing, like, that for their variable. And I've had that in, a, in an Android project before, when the person did that. Um, so your, your Android app is going to be all over the place. It's going to be very different designs all throughout the app. Now, this is going to create a, a unfamiliarity within your app. Every time you read something, you have to learn an entirely new design language so to speak, and nothing's going to become familiar. You're going to have to get used to reading different type of languages, not languages, but um, design patterns within, within your app. Some people might be returning from an if statement. Some people might prefer to only return at the end of the function. Some people don't like using breaks. Some people do like using breaks. You know, it's endless, uh, very different. Uh, if you all do different things, it's going to be very hard to read the code. A design pattern is, is meant to make very familiarity. Now, I'll make this very, a lot easier for, for people to understand that are intro to Kotlin or Android. Think about a style guide similar to material design, right? So material design with Android, you have your side drawer from the left side of the screen. How would you like it if the side drawer came from the right side instead with one app? The fab icon, the little plus um, at the bottom right, how would you like it if it was at the bottom left for one app? That one app would look very dwarfed, it would look very strange, and to be honest you probably have a very hard time maneuvering around it. You'll see that, that when you're trying to touch the, the um, side nav bar and try and get it out, you'll be touching the left side instead of the right because of your like, muscle memory and your, the design pattern of it, you expect it to come from the left. It's going to be really hard to maneuver on that, especially older people that are kind of newer to technology. They're going to be very lost. There's no familiarity with that app, and that app isn't, it, um, isn't going to be very good. It's not going to get very good ratings. People are going to say that they're going to be lost. Familiarity is very important with everything um, for businesses, for coding, but we're, we're going to coding. So with coding, with having a familiarity, I want to be able to go into a project and look very similar to the other project I worked on last month. I don't want to learn an entirely new design standard for, for a project, right? I don't want, um, I want to see camel casing like the variable. I don't want to see the variable like that, right? For a variable. I want it all familiar because I don't want to learn a new, a new design pattern. So say you're in a, 
a company like Dell or Instagram, it doesn't really matter. And let's say everyone has a design pattern. They have one design pattern. Everyone's familiar with a design pattern. It doesn't matter if this is the best design pattern in the world. It could be the worst one in the world, and it would still be better than everyone doing their own design pattern, or there's two or more. Right? Um, so if you go into a, a company, and, it, and everyone goes adheres to one design pattern, and you adhere to yours because it's better, for example, and it might be better. Um, it might be better. I'm not, I'm not arguing that, but when you do that, you um, pretty much create an unfamiliarity within the app. It might be better. It might be more readable, but you're going to have two different design patterns, and it's going to look very not so good. You're going to be people. People are going to be very lost in your app because they're used to reading a certain design pattern. Um, and it's very important to have a style guide for a programming language for apps for for um android for example and for kotlin